Hi, welcome to our YouTube channel called You're Doing It All Wrong. Today we will be teaching you how to not take care of children. Contrary to the popular belief, babysitting is not sitting on a baby. Okay, so first of all, children need attention, like, all the time. One of the biggest distractors in the lives of most teenagers especially is this. A cellular device. See, because we get so involved in our everyday life, like our social media accounts, that we can't focus on the children. Children need to be played with. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Casey? Maddie? You're here too? Yeah. I gave the kids some peanut butter last week. and didn't know they were allergic to it. So... Dang. How are you supposed to know? I am Professor Kirby. I am Professor Berryman. And we will be showing you the tips and tricks of babysitting. So the first thing you need to know about babysitting is that it is unlike any other occupation out there. Because it is ensuring the safety of the child you are tasked to watch. And it is not collecting data or making a spreadsheet. Good babysitters are nurturing. In a case study of teenage babysitting in the United States, author Nozomi Kawada defines the essence of nurturance as the ability to predict the infant's needs and to learn what kind of behavior should be adopted in order to satisfy its needs. Now, good babysitters know that in order to be nurturing, you have to know the child. Things like what they like to do, what they're allergic to, stuff like that. Which means that you have to, well... Ow! Ask questions. Always be prepared for the worst case scenario. Get both parents' phone numbers as well as emergency contacts before they leave. That way, in case of an emergency, you know how to be able to get their contact. The next step is to get all of the child's medical information. Ask if they have any allergies or if they need any medication that they need to take while they're under your care. This helps you prevent yourself from unintentionally harming them. Finally, ask what the child's allowed to do. It's better safe to ask than sorry. Ask if they can go outside, play certain games with you, even film a TikTok. Our second point is to be attentive to the child and the environment around you. One of the biggest distractions in our society today is the cell phone. That, coupled with the ignorant belief that nothing bad could ever happen to you, is one of the most dangerous things to babysitting teenagers. Bad people do still exist, and they will stop at nothing to try and get your child. <clears throat> it's important to know and practice the safety rules for each house. And you should give no information to phone callers, even when you think you know the person that you're talking to. Because it only takes seconds for somebody's life to change forever. Finally, interact with the child. In The Child and Encyclopedia Companion, Thomas Fidel states that play is a child's work. As a babysitter, you and the child will get along much better if they know they can trust you. If the weather is nice, take them outside. If not, always travel with a bag of fun. Bring a bag of stuff that includes games, puzzles, snacks, and more. After that, you can even have picnics, sports, you can do slime, tea parties, and just have fun. Because your job is unlike anybody else's out there. Any questions? No, I'm good. <laughs> Anna and I are good, aren't we, Anna? Oh, no. Thanks for watching. I'm Maddie Kirby. And I'm Casey Berryman.